you are looking for some soul food, look no further than the North Market. And that is where Good Day Columbus reporter Cameron Fontana is getting ready to serve up some chicken. Cameron, good morning to you. Uh, Cameron, good morning, Robin, yes. Maria, and Phil, <laughs> and to all of our viewers this morning. Now, I have two things that can really warm you up this winter. One, a good idea to put on some more clothes, but the second way to heat up during the winter is to have some hot chicken. And this morning, we are at Hot Chicken Takeover here at the North Market, and here's what's on the forecast for this morning. You ready? We're going to have Ma's Mac, Ma's Slaw, Miss B's Banana Pudding, and then, of course, their famous fried chicken. So you want to stay tuned to Good Day Columbus all morning long. We're going to talk to the owner, the awesome idea, and the really creative way they're bringing in the community here at Hot Chicken Takeover. And hey, if you want to come in later today, this is the best place to get your fried chicken, people. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. We're going to be here all morning, and there's more coming up. Stay tuned. We're going to go get some food. Well, we bet you are up and making some breakfast, maybe having some coffee or, of course, some tea. That's what I like. That's absolutely uh -huh. right. But how about some chicken? Well, good day, <laughs> Columbus reporter Cameron Fontana. He is live at the North Market cooking up some fun. Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning. I heard you guys talking about that team up north, so great segue talking about chickens this morning. We are at Hot Chicken Takeover. How are you doing, Joe? I'm well. How are you? Good. This is so cool because you guys just moved here. Tell us about the move and why you came to the North Market. Well, so our past location was over in Old Town East. We launched on the corner of Oak and Ohio. Okay. Uh, and it was all outdoors. Uh, and it's Ohio. It's getting yeah, very right. cold. Very so we had sporadic to find weather. An, very sporadic. <laughs> so we had to find an indoor location. Uh, and had a great opportunity to partner with the North Market on this space. And this is a really a gorgeous space. I like the tables, and that is really kind of the staple of the history and the community behind this. Why did you start this? So uh, part of it was uh, we had limited space under our tent in Old Town East. Okay. And so it was just how can we get the most seats in? Um, the second is the moment we started it, and we saw so many people sitting together that didn't know each other beforehand, uh, that became friends from strangers, uh, it was something we wanted to continue on, and so it's a staple for Hot Chicken Takeover. It won't change anytime soon. And what sets Hot Chicken Takeover apart from any other chicken you can get in Columbus? Well, so first, um, the chicken uh, has a very spicy paste on it uh, called Hot, okay. uh, hot Paste, yeah. uh, which is a Nashville tradition of uh, style of chicken. And so there's nobody else in town doing that. Uh, we do it. Uh, we do it really, really well, uh, and people love it. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to eat it. Now, you mentioned community before. Yeah. Not only are your customers involved in community, but your staff is as well, right? That's right. So we, uh, we partner with a variety of different community agencies to refer in candidates for employment. Uh, the majority of our employees have some significant barrier to employment. And wow. so it might be a, uh, a negative credential from a criminal record, a bad work history, uh, for whatever reason. They so you're welcoming a, everybody. Welcoming everybody. And it's an opportunity to build a workforce that's loyal, committed, um, and invested in long-term growth for the business. And so it's a it's a win-win for everybody. Well, you know what? We are going to be winning this morning, Joe, because we're going to be eating some fried chicken. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. Coming up next, we're going to have some more news for you and, of course, some fried chicken, right? Oh, Let's do our chicken great. dance. We'll see you soon, guys. We're going to go cook some chicken. <laughs> Let's go. Well, Good Day Columbus's Cameron Fontana. He is checking out the newest addition to the North Market. He's getting a behind-the-scenes look at hot <laughs> chicken takeover. Cameron? And my chicken dance. Chicken ready? Good morning, guys. That's right. We're at Hot Chicken Takeover, getting ready to feast on some hot fried chicken. With me is the owner, Joe. How are you doing, Joe? I'm well. Thank you. Now, we're just building the anticipation because we are going to be eating some chicken, but there's such an important process to yeah. make this, isn't there? Um, yes. So at Hot Chicken Takeover, we actually brine our chicken okay. for almost 15 hours. 15 hours? And so it happens the night before, but so we've got... This is some fresh cut chicken. And then what we'll do is apply our brine. What this will end up doing is we'll refrigerate this overnight. Um, so the flavor just soaks the in the chicken. The flavor soaks up. It makes sure we have really succulent, juicy chicken. Oh, there's nothing like juicy chicken. Yes. And so this will last. Um, we'll, uh, you, we'll use this chicken tomorrow for okay. our sale. Nice. Um, which is great. And so that brine helps really insulate a lot of flavor into the yeah. chicken and moisture. Oh. It makes a heck of a difference when it comes oh, to eating. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Now we're going to move on over yeah. because one of the, the side dishes that you have is Ma's Mac. Right? Yes, yes. It's very, it's got a special place in your heart, <laughs> doesn't it? That's 100% true. So what Wayne's doing here is Wayne is uh, 
making a batch of cheese sauce. Okay. And so this recipe, exactly how he's doing it, is my grandma's recipe to a T. So she's been making this mac and cheese, you know, for 89 strong years. Oh, my goodness. Doing incredibly well. You're and, making uh, her proud because now are. you're spreading it around Columbus. A mac and cheese legacy. And how long did and it so, take the mac and to make the mac and cheese start to finish. So he'll spend about 60 minutes on this thing of cheese okay. sauce, and uh, <laughs> which would be great. And so we'll do this. It'll go on top of noodles, okay. and then it'll be baked right after. Oh. And so it'll be fresh baked on the shift. Um, so he's got, uh, we hand shred, probably about 20 pounds of cheese a batch for this okay. mac and cheese. So, so there's going to be a lot of mac and cheese eaten today. It's a lot. I think this weekend we're doing about 50 trays of mac and cheese. Oh. It's a lot of macaroni. Coming up next on Good Day Columbus, we're going to be eating some of this food. And you can see the fryer right there. We're just building the anticipation. Tune over to Fox 28 because you're going to taste some of this delicious food. We'll be back soon. First, Cameron Fontana is live at the North Market. Hi, Cam. Good morning. We're just clucking away at Hot Chicken Takeover. And coming up next, we are continuing the process to make some of the most delicious fried chicken that you can get in Columbus. Stay tuned. Right now, you can indulge in a new dish at the North Market. Sounds good. Cameron mm -hmm. Fontana is hanging out at the Hot Chicken Takeover. Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning, Cameron. Why do you get hey, all morning, the uh, food assignments, huh? Because I have the best job in the world, Maria. <laughs> yes, I get you all the do. food and Yes, I do. I love it. So we're getting ready to fasten our eat belts this morning at Hot Chicken Takeover. With me is Joe. How are you doing, Joe? I'm well, thank you. This is so much fun. I, anything that involves food and chicken, I, I'm just a happy camper. We've got a lot of chicken. We do. So how much chicken are you guys going to go through today? Um, so today we're anticipating about 500 pounds of chicken. 500 yeah. pounds. Now what's this process right here? So right now what we're doing is we're doing the second dredge on our chicken. Okay. This is going to ensure it gets extra crunchy in that fryer. So you said second, so second. I'm assuming all, all the chicken goes through two dredges. Two dredges okay. uh, with time in the refrigerator in between. Wow. There all you go. Right. Now. It took, how long did it take you to perfect this right here? Um, you know, we probably had four months in the recipe before we were had the process down. And this is, so. you told me this is a secret recipe, right? This is very secret. Unicorn dust. Okay, <laughs> unicorn dust. So we're going to put these over here. Now, what's the next step? So the next step is to go to the fryer with these bad oh. boys. So as we make our way to the fryer, when are you guys open, Joe? Um, so we are open Friday 11 to 7, okay. and then Saturday, Sundays 11 to 4. So today you're open until 4 o'clock. Until 4 o'clock, second floor of the North Market. Okay. Big trick here is people need to tune into our Facebook okay. because we do run out of chicken. Oh. And so if we run out, oh, there's only no. 500 pounds only goes so far. <laughs> That's you know? a lot of chicken to eat. That so, is. okay, let's, let's start putting it All in right, the fryer. So we're going to be cautious about this one. Okay, don't want to get injured on GDC. Here we go. We're going to go there first, and then... There's a little finesse to it, right? There's some, yeah. You finesse. have to respect the chicken as you put it in the pool. Goodbye, my love. I will see you <laughs> soon. Oh. Now, you said 500 pounds of chicken. How much chicken do you eat a day? Um, you know, I probably do my fair share. About a pound a day, I think. <laughs> Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. Maria, Rob, and Phil, what do you guys think of that? Doesn't that just sound delicious? Just listen to the... the burning of it. Oh yeah, it sounds delicious. I'm hoping that you bring some back so that we can taste it That's to make right. sure that it is delicious. No Maybe. calories, no guilt. That's right. Gotta love it. Heat up your weekend with a hot dish. Sounds good. Cameron Fontana is checking out the newest addition to the North Market. Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. We are getting closer and closer to the tasting of this delicious chicken, aren't we, Joe? We are ready. Okay, so what's this step right here? All right, so this is the second fry. So okay. this is going to ensure we get a really cri crispy, crunchy piece of chicken. Oh, here we go. All now right, so watch out. Back. Hot grease. Hot grease here, hot grease here. Oh, look at right. that. Chain, you can still see it's bubbling. Look at that. Oh. So fresh, hot chicken. Okay. Next step for us okay, is so going to be... Sides to put on a very spicy, uh, our, our house paste. And so okay. we have three different heat levels. This is warm, Okay. this is hot, and this is holy. The holy. And it sounds like you want to go holy. Yes, we're going to go holy because right. I want to get as spicy as you can get it. I love spicy food. All right, so I'm going to get a good mix of this stuff to make sure we get all the pepper. Now, how long did it take you to come to perfect the holy sauce recipe? Uh, so the holy took us a minute because we wanted something that had flavor, not just heat. Okay. And so this important. is oh. 
You know it's spicy when it goes from red to like a dark brown. Yes, almost this like is a rust. significantly darker. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm okay. going to make sure. Now this is super spicy, so you can and hot. Don't rub my eyes with it, right? Do not rub your eyes. Oh. And then the goal on this is to get a really equal level of this paste all over. Oh my gosh. It's not pretty, gosh. but it's delicious. But it's I can smell it. The yeah. seasonings in it. Now without giving it too much away of the recipe, what are some of the key flavors that you guys are using in this? Primary sauce? heat is cayenne pepper. Okay. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, like sure. Cayenne is cayenne, which is what brings the heat. It's very traditional Nashville. Look at that. Oh, look at the glistening glow. That's of a the beautiful juiciness. piece of chicken. So oh. The next step for us, I'm going to place plate these. Okay. As cautiously. There you go. As I can. Oh. And then we finish with uh, with pickle. Okay, so is it dill or sweet pickle? This is a dill pickle. Oh. On yes. sweet local Schwabel's white bread. So everything's local here. That's one of the greatest parts. And we do for those of you that don't know, Joe, you started this company. Right? Yes, yes. We started uh, in April of this year. Wow. And now yep. you've moved to the North Market. Literally the American dream standing right next to me, using everything local. This is what it's all about when it comes to food. And yes. for the people that don't know, what time are you open today? So today we'll open up at 11. Okay. We'll be open until 4 o'clock or when the chicken runs out. So and you got to make sure, you got to stay plugged into their Facebook page yep. because sometimes the boneless goes fast, doesn't it? Boneless goes quick, wings go the fastest. So if you want wings, you got to be here before 12. Got to be here before 12. Now yep. coming up next, we are going to take a bite of the holy spicy chicken. You don't want to miss it. And you know what? I'm just going to take a little lick preview right here you guys ready we're gonna throw it back to you guys let's see all right is it spicy okay it's gonna it's gonna creep up on you it's coming it's coming <laughs> it's got some heat to it I, oh i can't wait to taste that chicken maria Make sure okay, you get now some I'm excited. Milk or now I'm excited. Toast or something. Doesn't that's what helps, right? When you <laughs> eat some he's, spices. He's getting a little rosy cheeked there. I think he's uh, masking all the pain from all the spices. But who am I? That's I right. Know. But first, Cameron Fontana is live at the North Market. Cameron, good morning to you. Are you ready? I am ready. Open it up. <laughs> Coming up next, we are finally taking a dive into Hot Chicken Takeover's Holy Chicken Spicy Meal. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. We are about to devour this, right, Joe? A hundred percent. Oh, look at it. Your chance to try some of the best chicken in town. Absolutely. You can get some today at the North Market. That's where Cameron Fontana has been all morning long. Cameron, tough assignment. How's it going out there this morning? Good morning, guys. Well, we are very excited. Joe and I are with me, or Joe is with me. Joe and I are ready to eat the chicken. Joe is the owner here at Hot Chicken Takeover. How long have you guys been in business? So we opened up in April uh -huh. over in Old Town East. We had an outdoor location, and uh, for the winter, we've moved indoors here at the North Market. So for those of you, I have a lot of friends that have had Hot Chicken Takeover before when they were outside under the tent. Yep. They have moved here to North Market. How exciting is that? It's a very exciting move. It's been nice to grow and be inside. And this is sweet. You can see the long tables here. This is such a community atmosphere. And you know, I'm going to stop talking because the time has come. I've been waiting about four <laughs> hours to eat this chicken. Now, this is the holy, right? This is this the hot. This is the holiest of holy. It's okay. the hottest thing we have to offer. Got some pickles um, in there. It's just shy of two, 200,000 Scoville units. Oh. So there's some serious heat. Got some heat there. So I'm going to put the microphone down and we're going right. to take a bite of this. Are you ready? I'm ready. And you got to say it. You got to say it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Say it. Fasten your eat belt. Ah, here it's we go. About to get holy. Oh, well, it hits you right away. But I, I think the bread helps kind of soften it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Man, this is delicious. And when you, what is it? Marinate the chicken. We brine the chicken for about 15 hours. 15 hours. Right. Look how soft that chicken is. This is the white. And it just falls apart in there. Look, look it. You can still see the juice. I'm going to take another bite of it. Oh, let me take a bit. Every time. I love it every time. It's like the first bite every time. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to move on over because you have the mac and cheese. And this is your grandma's recipe, is it? It is. How long has she been cooking the mac and cheese for? Um, I mean, at least a good 70 plus years. Oh, and I'm going to take a bite of this. Here we go. Now you cheated. In between the hits, you started on the mac and uh, cheese. It's rare that I get it that <laughs> fresh out of the oven. I love it. Oh, my gosh. If you are looking for the ultimate <laughs> comfort food meal, this is it right here. It's here. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, coleslaw. And the, I like it. Coleslaw is very crunchy. Sweet, crunchy. We make it really fresh. Nice. So, oh, so good. No mayo. 
And then the really staple, fresh. you gotta you gotta chug it down with some sweet tea, right? Cheers. Cheers. This is delicious. Coming up next on Good Day Columbus, we are gonna show you some more items on the menu because they got waffles, banana pudding. Pudding. Oh. Yeah. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. We're at Hot Chicken Takeover, and I'm just gonna make you guys jealous, Maria, Rob. Oh, and you Phil. are. Let's just eat it in front of them and okay. see how jealous they get. Yeah, Here we thanks. Go. The diet starts in the new year, right? Isn't exactly. that what we say? No guilt, no shame right we now. We say that every year. Don't. Cameron Fontana has been hanging around town this morning. He's at Hot Chicken Takeover in the North Market. Hey, Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, I've been a happy chicken this morning, haven't I, Joe? You have been. This has been so delicious. Now, in the last tip, we had the spicy holy chicken. We did. And I have to say, it's, you know, it's definitely really spicy, but it's not anything that you're going to be coughing over. You still have the flavor in it. That's ton what of, I love about it. Ton of flavor, not all heat. Now, that is kind of the chicken meal is the go-to when people mm -hmm. come here. But you also have many different things here. Talk about what we have on the table right here. So the additional two options we have, one is a sandwich. Oh. And so this is the sandwich here. So double bread. Um, it's got coleslaw and pickles on it. So you put the coleslaw and the pickles on the sandwich. Yes. And so that cools down the heat. This is a good novice move. That's how you get started. Yeah. And this is your uh, favorite, This is my right? go-to on shift. If I need to slam something, <laughs> it's a sandwich. And, and then over, right over here. Yeah. So we have uh, a newest addition to our menu, which is uh, scratch waffles and a house syrup. So you can swap out the bread um, for uh, waffles and it's delicious. You and know, so, I didn't think your chicken could get any better, but you took it to the next level and you put better. waffles with it. It just got better. And it just got better. And you have dessert. What yes. is this right here? So this is Miss B's banana pudding, which is a uh, scratch banana pudding oh. with toasted uh, and salted uh, vanilla wafers on top. Oh, it's delicious. Sugar. Yeah, you gotta, gotta make sure. You gotta make sure you get. You have to get all layer. the levels when you yep. eat the food. So tell people when are you open and what hours can they come? So we're open um, Friday through Sunday, and on Fridays it's 11 to 7, Saturday, oh. Sundays it's 11 to 4. Uh, we always encourage people to check out our Facebook posts, particularly later in the day, okay. because we do start running low on chicken. And when it's gone, it's gone. We do it fresh <laughs> every day. And that's great. Over 500 pounds of chicken they go through. And we've already had people see us. I think there's another one coming up. They're opening at 11 today. We want to let you viewers know 11 o'clock today. And because we had a guy come, he was like, oh, with the chicken. Well, it wasn't ready yet. <laughs> 11 o'clock today. We have had such a fun time, Joe. It's good. Thank I you really so much. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. And right behind there, we're going to throw it back to you guys. But they have their wall, and we wrote on, as seen on GDC. Cam and Joe dominated the holy chicken. Shayton had warm. We cooked. We clucked. We conquered. We conquered. Back to you guys. You. And you bring some back to us, don't right? Don't forget us. <laughs> Yay! He's going to bring good. some back.